Cash break right here and this is another video and this is the long awaited garage update video you've been waiting for and yeah uh so yeah i apologize i didn't film the end of the year uh garage update which is december 2019 but mainly the last year end of the last year there's mainly nothing much to update other than my last product to my collection which is the the kyosho dmc lamborghini event lamborghini Huracan. but other than that that is all i have to say for that but let me just get straight to what is new in the collection currently so yeah i think by the time you watch this video the my unboxing video for this uh Aventor should be out uh sh should not be out yet so do keep look out for that and yeah uh the unboxing video should be out on the 8th of april if not wrong so yeah unboxing video for that should be out on 8th of april and what else do i have to say all oh, right nothing much oh yeah so unboxing video for this will be out on the 8th of april and for this will be on which is my just recently created uh emission model nissan gt nissan gtr or basically call it the nissan skyline gtr r34 this the unboxing video should be out on the 6th of jan 6th of april sorry not meant i was not meant to say 6th of january but it's 6th of april so do keep look out for this unboxing videos it's quite short give just to give a heads up but other than that not much to say but let me just go through what is currently in my collection and what is expect to come in the next three months time so yeah so yeah, let's start from the top where it all started so yeah, as it, right here as you can see under the cover is the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento by Otua serial number 1000 which is currently under the car cover I won't be taking out that anytime soon but yeah there's not much talk about it that is a keeper which I don't think I'll be selling at all next up we have the GD Autos Pajani Huara and yeah same to this nothing much to talk about it but yeah and yeah um i think this was bought this year which is the the auto art Koenigsegg Ajara in this white with the blue stripes but yeah this point this my just i just collected this i think roughly this this year is one of the this Ajara right here is one of the new car that i created this year so yeah no much to talk about that but yeah for the hypercast corner right here, at the highest floor right now will be the in the near future in uh going forward this will be the Koenigsegg corner so yeah do expect to see many more Koenigsegg like the Jera RS the right Jera the uh, so yeah maybe the model the Koenigsegg you can expect to be living here right at the highest will be the Koenigsegg Ajara uh, RS the right Jera Jesco and two Lamborghini so it's one of them which is the Sesto Elemento and one more will be the Ottawa Lamborghini Sion which will be staying right up here and yeah that's mainly the the Koenigsegg corner with two Lamborghinis two Lamborghini yeah that's what I want to say and yeah let's off, move on to the next level which is the eye level which is mainly the Pagani corners slash uh yeah mainly the Pagani corner slash Bugatti corner and Ferrari corner if you call that but yeah so yeah, what do I have to say for this corner well basically um, this corner will be mainly where the Huayra will live here once uh, the the raining Paganis are here. So yeah, as of right now, uh, for this year Toy Fair, they announced the almost real Pagani Zonda Cinque and Zonda F, which I'm getting. So yeah, as of right now, I'm not too sure when the models will be out, but do keep look out for that as, I'll, as I am get, definitely getting one of those each. So yeah. Uh, what do I have? Oh yeah, one more, which is f from almost real itself, which is the Pajani Huayra Roadster. So yeah, mainly this is my four Pajani that I'll be getting. The Huayra, the Huayra which I have right now in my collection. The Huayra Roadster, the Zonda F, and the Zonda Cinque Roadster. So yeah, those four are the Pajani that I'll be getting. And next up, let's move on to the remaining three or two in my collection. No, sorry, three or four model types in my collection. So yeah. The remaining two or three or four of them, whatever I can remember. So yeah, the remaining will be I'll be getting a Emma model Bugatti Veyron Super Sport, which is mainly something similar to this Reventon right here, just that it previously got a leather base, which I'll be removing from it and putting it right here alongside two more other cars, which I'm about to tell you. So yeah, the remaining two other cars, which I'll be get um. 
will be right here will be the Otoa Lamborghini Centenara Roadster which is the yellow color one if you are wondering not that but the one that I'm doing the special project which so there should be a video to it somewhere around here the unboxing video to the yellow Centenara Roadster should be here plus the unboxing for the coupe as well should be here so do keep your eye to learn more about my life learn more about my special project other than that well, the last car that will be coming to this collection will be the BBR Ferrari La Ferrari. So yeah, so no, BBR Ferrari La Ferrari Aperta, not the coupe, sorry. Aperta will be living up here, so yeah, as you can imagine, Bugatti Veyron, uh, Lamini Centenario Roadster, Ferrari La Ferrari Aperta, Pagani Zonda F, Zonda Cinque Roadster, the Huayra, and the Huayra Roadster will be all at this floor. So yeah, just imagine this right here. So yeah, next up, let's move on to the Ferrari corner. Ferrari corner, I have mainly not much to update about, just that I am looking for this garage leaf. So that if, if anyone has this garage leaf, do contact me because I need two more of it to place right here so that I can place the 48 right here alongside the specially the 458 Spider and the 599 GTO. So yeah, if you got the garage leaf, do contact me and we can maybe see how, how we could do the pricing and everything. But yeah, those for the Ferrari corners, I only missing these two garage leaf which I need to complete the full for this row I need just so I complete the full eight rows, four rows on top, four rows at the bottom for the Ferrari corners. So yeah, that's mainly what I have to say for the Ferrari corner. Next up, let's move on to the Porsche corner. Porsche corner I know much to say, just that the last time you saw this was uh, you only have the, I only have the GT3 and the GT3 RS from Mini Champs and Auto One, But right now, as you can see, I have the Mini Champs 911 Turbo The GT Spirit Porsche 911 Carrera Club Coupe If that's, if I'm correct But yeah, other than that, these two are the latest addition to this year Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this is the, I previously got a Black Sport 5 Special Which I sold it, which is a BB, not BBR Burrado Special by Inan. I sold it and I got this instead which is a Hobbies Elite Fry for Fire Special So yeah, that's one new car alongside the TBF And yeah, those two are the two new cars for this year Next up, for this this year new, new acquisition, if you can call it, will be these two Porsche 911 right here And yeah, if you're wondering why is there a Nissan and a There's a GTR and a 48 right here and there's another 430 right here So, uh, don't worry these cars are just temporary here for spacing because I don't want to place any car right up there so yeah these are just temporary spacing so you can expect them to be moving out once the Otoa announced the 991.2 GT3 RS and GT2 RS and yeah so many okay so there's two cars that's coming to my collection in the near future so once Otoa do it but yeah so you might think there's one empty space right here what should I put well I have gone out and bought a Mini Champs 911 GT3 Touring so the GT3 Touring will be right here where the 124 steel Ferrari F430 is right now so it will be right here and alongside in the near future will be the GT3 RS and GT2 RS so yeah that's mainly all I have to say for the Porsche corner let's move on to the McLaren corner so yeah for the McLaren corner what do I have to say well um, one thing I can say first is as you guys can see this is a McLaren Mercedes SLR by Maestro, which I got this year, and yes, the long-awaited McLaren, the Auto McLaren 675 LT, which I finally got it. So yeah, those two cars are the two new arrival for this year. And going forward, let me see what do I have. Oh yeah, mainly right now at the moment I'm in the process of getting a 720s and a Senna. The 600 LT they just announced it this year at this year Toy Fair, so. The 600 LT I will have to consider first because at this rate where there's no more there's no new model coming to my local diecast dealer plus even if I want to get it from other sources the price will be way too high for me to afford so yeah most likely I I might drop this because initially my plan was I want to get the 600 LT to put alongside the 675 LT but uh that might go elsewhere so I might just get Santa and get the 720s and that's it. And maybe start maybe uh like uh like this corner where I mentioned there's uh three different type three or four different type of brands it might be the same thing here where I will have my Clever at one side Mercedes at one side so yeah so maybe the SLR will be staying somewhere in between the two lines here so oh yeah and just a heads up I this is totally unexpected but I know you I know 
if you guys didn't know, I don't own any Mercedes at all because I'm not a Mercedes fan. Apart from this, which is a McLaren Mercedes. But yeah, I have just went out today by, at this time when I was recording this video right here, this video I'm seeing right now, I have bought a Mercedes AMG GTR. Yes, you heard it from me. I have finally bought my first Mercedes. And yeah, you might be wondering what the color is. Well, it's no obvious color. There's no other obvious color than to get. You did most people will get is solo, solo, uh, not solar beam yellow. The green, the launch pack, which is the dark matte green, no, uh, the matte green color. But I have gone out and bought the solar beam yellow Mercedes AMG GTR. So you can expect it to come to the collection in the near future. So yeah, other than that, uh, for Mercedes model, for like, Mercedes diecast, I'm quite specific on what I want to get, so uh, that so for my Mercedes collection, I will be very selective on what model I want to get. I won't be like getting all like the, well, I I won't be like getting like all like the the whole range of Mercedes. Maybe I'll just get the SLS, SLR, or maybe the AMG variants of it. So yeah, that's all I have to say for the McLaren corner. Let's move on to the lowest corner, which is. The luxury corner and luxury corner i didn't have much to say other than that these two are the new acquisition to the collections which is one of them right here you're looking at is the almost real bravos 900 rocket which i actually it's not called rocket but i call it a bravos 900 rocket and right alongside we have the kill show rolls royce phantom coupe so yeah those two are the new models i got for this year and you can expect two more new models coming to this collection one of them is, is another rolls royce which is the rolls royce phantom extended wheelbase and last but not least will be the uh, Kyosho flatback truck which will, uh, how, how do I say this? Maybe I can put one model on top of the flatback trucks to like transport it around. So yeah, maybe that's all I have to say for this first whole normal part of this collection. Let me just move on to the Lamini corner right now. So yeah. Alright, so this is the main part of my collection, which is the Lamborghini corner, and yeah, let me just start off with the highest floor among all, the Lamborghini hypercar section. As you can see right here, we have the Lamborghini Veneno Coupe, Veneno Roadster, so yeah, alongside the Centenario Coupe, I mean, sorry, Centenario Roadster, Reventon Coupe, and Reventon Roadster, so yeah. As for this collection, I I only left with one collection, which, I mean, not one, one collection, I mean is. I only left with one tie the moment, which is the Lamborghini Centenario Coupe, which is the, the one that uh, you guys saw in my last unboxing video, which is the special project, which I tend to do the base swap. And yeah, other than that, once it came from the surgery, it will be placed right here alongside the Centenario Roadster. So yeah, so do expect that, do keep look out for that once uh, it arrives back. So and yeah, if you want to know more about it, know when it'll be coming back do check my diecast collection id page so yeah there should be a the page should be popping right about here and yeah do uh do follow this page as this page will be mainly for my whole collection you just see right here it'll, all my cars will be appearing on that page so yeah do keep look out for that other than that uh i have not much to talk about the lambini hypercar corners other than other than uh, apart from the Centenario Coupe, I also have bought the Centenario Coupe. Also, it's another Coupe, just that this time in carbon. So, uh, you, you can expect the carbon, I won't be displaying at all because it's very special and red. Hence, I'm not displaying it at all. So, but I'll do an unboxing video for you guys to see. So, yeah. Other than that, I won't be, unbox I won't be unboxing the tie also. Yeah, sorry about that guys. But, yeah. That's all I have to say for the Lamborghini Hypercar Corner. So now let's move on to the special part of my collection, which I love the most, which is the Aventador's. Aventador Corner, I have not much to say other than uh, I just got myself a, another wedding Aventador. To, another wedding Aventador with the different kind of body kit. And yeah, nothing not much to say, just that. Uh, as you can see, this is also a wedding Aventador. Just that for this wedding Aventador, the doors, I think for the passenger side, doesn't stay up, so I decided this to just keep it closed and this will be open, so yeah. Uh, yeah, this is what I mentioned, this is, uh, I mentioned earlier, which the, another, I just bought myself another Aventador, LP700-4, so yeah, two Aventadors, the, the first generation model, Aventador J, Aventador Roadster, SV, 50 Vasario, the Aventador S, which at the, 
right now I'm considering on getting another Venton S. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm thinking of getting the yellow Venton S, which I got, which is my first Venton base. So I'm do considering whether should I get one more Venton S since I already got myself another LP Sun Red S4. So yeah, do uh vote in the eye somewhere around here. There should be an eye somewhere around here. Do do vote and yeah. Otherwise, I will be doing a poll on my IG page so you guys can vote there or vote in this video as well. So it's, it's basically your choice to do it, but yeah. Other than that, the latest equation to the Aventador family which will be the Aventador SVJ63 edition from Kyosho. Unfortunately, this uh, does not have any moving parts and one thing that you can notice straight away from Oto and Kyosho is the headlights, which is, as you guys can see, the Oto headlight is like quite... Uh, the Y, the shape here to compare to the Kyosho is like quite, it's quite thick while the Kyosho is quite thin. It's very weird, but I think that's what set them apart from it. Other than that, we have the Garda and Huracan Corner, the two police car. Oh yeah, and this, the Barboni edition to the collection, which is Lambini Gardo Barboni edition. Barboni edition, this one, right? But yeah, other than that, it will be the Super Legera, the Gardo Spider, the DMC, Kyosho, Lamini Huracan, the Performante, the regular Huracan, and my latest edition, the Gado GT3 car. Oh yeah, and just to give you a heads up, I'll be get my, I'll be getting one more, uh, which is the Huracan race car, I think it should be arriving maybe somewhere in April, so yeah, so by the time the Huracan, either the, the last number to arrive to this whole collection, either two things, either the Huracan race car will be the last car to arrive or the Centenario will be the last car to arrive so at the moment I have no idea what what will be the order but let's see what is the last Lambo to arrive to my collection will it be the Huracan GT3 car or will it be the Centenario so yeah that's all I have to say for this collection other than that uh, yeah this is mainly my Lambo winning collection at the moment so yeah I hope you guys enjoy it and now let's move on to the last part of the collection which is the Holy Trinity Corner plus the F1 car collection. Alright, um, what do I have to say for this? Well, the F1 car, the Ferrari F1 car, the BBR model right here, seeing. Well, I am, I don't have much update to it other than um, I've got myself a BBR Ferrari FSXK Evo. So yeah, do, that will be around me somewhere in the near future. And that will be living up right here. And yeah, so mainly the FSXK Evo will be here and... Yeah, so many there's only two cars living up here, but I've also gone out and bought a Otoa Pajani Zonda R. Ah, yes, you heard it right clearly. I got my I went out and bought a Otoa Pajani Zonda R ah, and most likely there's a slight chance that the Zonda R ah will be living here as well alongside the FSXK Evo. So yeah, mainly that's all I have to say at the moment. Um uh, as for F1 car at the moment I'm thinking should I get this year one or should I wait maybe in a few years time whether there's a special uh there's a special occasion for Ferrari itself. Ferrari the, the team uh maybe um at the moment I'm not thinking of getting another F1 car but let's see what time will tell but yeah that's all I have to say for this display case itself. Not much to say other than that I'm getting a Pajani Zonda R and a BBR Ferrari FSXK Evo. Now let's move on to the last part of the collection, which is this small individual uh, case. For this, uh, as you guys can see right here, uh, I have the 918, the P1, and this empty space. Uh, as you guys know, when I mentioned the Jana about the, uh, that space over there, which I got myself a La Ferrari Aperta, a FXK Evo, and you, in, if you have just it by now, yes, I brought myself, I went out and also get the BBR, Ferrari, La Ferrari, Coupe. So you'll be staying right here in between the whole, in between the La, the 19 and the P1. So the La Ferrari will be right here. So once you right, you'll be staying right here. And right above the 19, we have the Carrera GT in black by Otowat. And yeah, you might be wondering, what's this empty space right here? So uh, I'm finally glad to announce to you guys that this empty space right here will be filled up by an Otowat Porsche 959. Yes, you heard it right. I got a 959 to complete the whole Porsche collection. So just imagine this. One part down is the Holy Trinity, another part up is the whole uh what I call it as the legendary Porsche that Porsche car that Porsche I created over throughout the years. So yeah, mainly you have the eighties, you have the early two thousand and you have the maybe the early uh twentieth century which is the maybe like around two thousand 
13 to 2014 era so yeah meaning that's all the same for this collection and you, there's one more i almost forget the miss up which is that the liberty world lamborghini aventador cook that's mainly what i say so yeah mainly they they are thinking of doing oh to what they are them, so they themselves they think of doing one more round of liberty world aventador this time round everything can be open which i'm quite excited to hear that so you can expect another liberty world aventador to, to be coming to my collection in the near future but other than that that's all i have to say for this video so yeah let me just give you a sum up of everything what i just said all right so that's basically the whole of my uh march Josh update yeah me it's quite a long video i know guys sorry about that but i appreciate you guys um watching throughout this throughout the end so yeah so mainly just to recap i'm getting uh starting from top will be as of right now the model that i already placed the deposit and definitely will be coming will be the bbr ferrari la ferrari coupe and a Perta fsk evo Pajani is on the uh the what's that the Bajati very on super sport. Uh, let me see what else I remember. Oh yeah, the Kyosho Rolls Royce Phantom extended wheelbase and the flatback truck and one more if I'm not wrong is the nine five nine Porsche nine five nine. Last but not least will be the Porsche nine eleven GT three touring and if I miss out anything, uh, you can just rewatch the video and you guys know what it's basically going for going forward and yeah that's all I have to say for this video. Thank you for watching. This video and yeah click here to follow me on instagram at diecast break and click here to put my face somewhere around here should be the subscribe button and click here to see my two other videos and yeah that's all to say for this video thank you for i'll see you guys in the next video peace